like to paint the surferu. This is the start of my Australian world tour going off. I'm just at Mawoolumba, the fringes of Mawoolumba. As you can see behind me, Mount Warning, the sleeping giant. We'll see more of that coming up later because I'm off to this big, huge festival. It's called the Nimbin Mardi Gras on once a year. Every year it is getting bigger and better. Lots of different people from all around the world come to check out this big, huge festival. Guys, I'm excited. You're excited. Let's get down and check out. Yes. Hey mate, how you going? Go mate, how you going? What's going on? Yeah, yeah mate, we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, we've got so much traffic heading up to Nimbin. You know it's the Mardi Gras on at the moment. It's a, a yearly event up here. It's, it's just massive, man. It's going off. Oh really? Yeah, we've come here for Mardi Gras. That's, we're coming here to do a story. I've got a film crew. We've got no more car parks up there for you. How many in your crew? Yeah, we've got a crew of about, oh, six. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, we've got, a, we've got a, a car park up here in the paddock. You can park your car up there if you like. What? Got a park in the paddock? Yeah, yeah. Can't get up there? Full. Yeah, you can take your gear up there and, you know, just wander up and, you know, three days of fun. Have a bit of relaxation, yeah. Okay, mate, no worries. Well, listen, we'll park in the paddock up there and uh, we'll walk up, take the gear up. Yeah, mate. Cool. Yeah, we're here for the next four days. Okay, well, I hope you have a great Nimbin party. It's going off, man. Okay, I'll catch you later. Well, you have a great day, mate. Have a good Mardi Gras. We're going to. Lots of weapon out there, mate. Take it easy. Yeah, you take it easy, mate. Peace, brother. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, you can go, mate. Just take it nice and slow. Okay, come on, mate. Here we go. Hey guys, good morning, and we're here at Nimbin, day one, it's the Friday, and it's a big start of the festival, it's going to go off here, the Mardi Gras, we've got something happening this morning, we'll tell you more about later on, and I'm just going to go off and have some breakfast guys, get ready for this big occasion, it's going till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, so this is the next three days, lots of festivity happening here, Pete the Surferu, here at the Nimbin Mardi Gras. Check you soon, yeah. Hey guys, I've arrived at my favourite restaurant here at Armonica, right in the heart of Nimbin. It is going off. People are setting up. It's all sort of happening now. We've got a big march coming up around about 11 o'clock, which we will see firsthand off here. I'm going to have a hearty vegetarian healthy meal here at Armonica, then followed by an apple and orange juice and of course my favourite cappuccino skinny. Guys, check out the food, have a great time. This is Nimbin Mardi Gras going off day one of the big festival, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Peter Surferu. We're with the president of the Hemp Embassy here at Nimbin just before the big festival Mardi Gras goes off. Michael, how are you? Yeah, good. Thanks for coming. 
No worries. Now there's a lot of lead up before we actually run the festival and we've got to know a bit about what brings the festival alive is the protest of course. You, will, you know I've had 20 people come up to me today. These are locals who have been creating something for the last sometimes months. But it's very creative Nimbin and very supportive and we're tight knit. You can do it. Kink in the morning. Step into the rockers. Keep on holding on. Viva Marijuana! Yahoo.com! Huh. It's the 27th year we've done this because there's so many pot users here, you know, it's a big part of our culture. So we just we just keep hammering away, knocking on that door, you know, we'll get there. But lots of people pull in. We get a, we've probably got a hundred different volunteers now, lots of backpackers, wow. but there's a couple of hundred locals who just come out of the woodwork or crawl out of the hills when this, this year comes, this every year this weekend comes round. Now I like it up here because it's so relaxed, so unstressful. And of course there's going to be heaps of stuff happening over the three days, mate. Just give us the highlights of what the three think days. What makes it so unstressful? I think it's just the way of life I think up it's here. The weed man must be, eh? It just chills everyone out <laughs> because the great medicinal quality of weed is its anti-inflammatory property. Mm. So I think it does the same to us. You know, you just let go, and that's it. All the swelling drops away. <laughs> I think way to go, yeah. Part of it. Anyway, I've forgotten your question. Yeah, the big one is uh, all the highlights. We've got so much. We've got Disco Sister happening up here. Disco I know Sister her runs actually. A great program all weekend. Yep. Talks are starting in the hall about now, yep. midday. So there's you know, quite a few speakers from Amsterdam, Canada, wow. California, lots of people to talk about what's happening in their countries. The Hemp Olympics, favourite event. We've got a new event this year, the Combi Lift, looking for Australia's strongest stoner to lift oh, the combi. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Might be me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll be in the running, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and men's and women's event. Cool. And all the Hemp Olympics events, joint rolling, growers, iron person events. Event and the bong throw. There's lots. There's lots happening. Lots of music. Lots of talks. A hemp expo in the middle wow. of town. I think we've got a permit to have some live plants here for the first time. That's good. So it will all just unfold today. See if all our plans come true. The hemp party registered. We're, we're running candidates in every state and the Northern Territory in two weeks at the election day. So you can anonymously make a vote, make your protest vote for hemp. No one will know. Anonymous, safe in the polling booth. Sounds good, guys. Cool. Well, guys, stick with us. Three days of festivities here at Nimbin. The big Mardi Gras going off every year. It's getting bigger, better here at Nimbin. Michael, it's a pleasure talking with you, mate. the parent of a child who was sick would you give cannabis to your son named Dick and if you were a husband of a wife with cancer would you give cannabis as a life enhancer and if you were a doctor then you knew a cure for pharmaceutical poisons or a herb that's pure and a harmless herb can heal many people why is it registered licensed it's legal it's time that the days of prohibition passed free up the hill and herb and free up the grass if a hill and herb heals not harms, why does the government twist our arms? Cannabis makes you feel well, locking up drug abusers as abuse and hell. Ending prohibition will harm, minimise, let's end prohibition without licence disguise because cannabis makes your body feel so well, locking up drug users as abuse and hell. And if we end the drug war, we help out all the people, we end all the big pharmaceutical evil. It's time that the days of cannabis prohibition pass, free up the herb, free up the grass, we end the cannabis and we end the drug while well, we help out the young, the black and the poor and the socially vulnerable, damaged every day, prohibition harms in so many, many ways because prohibition funds dealers in crime because of these bad laws, there's people dying, he OD'd from Oxycontin, was never waking from the pharmaceutical he was taking, we pumped and we beat and we blew and we tried to keep him alive and I, after he died I met his mum, his dad, his brother and two Prohibition harms in many ways, it's true. It's time we end all prohibition, change this situation. Harm minimism. Uh, 
Hey, dude. There you go, man. I'm here at Nimbin. It is going off, man. Day one. It is really cool here in Nimbin. The Mardi Gras. Come and join me, guys. Let's go and do it. Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Welcome back guys, I'm here with Honey Pipe, with her Honey Pipes, and we could call them just the bongs. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, how are you? Really good. Now these ones are specially homemade, tell me a bit about these. Alright, this particular one is made by um, a Buddhist monk in Bangladesh, and he has sent them over with just unwaxed and unstrung, and I've waxed them and strung them up, but you can see here. You know, they've got the little Buddhist prayer on the, on the, what we call a kuchi. Oh, wow, that's yeah. pretty amazing stuff, hey? Yes, it is. And these are self-created, so you can't get these anywhere else. You'll never see these again. Wow, yeah. amazing stuff. Now, for all those fit guys out there, not only can you smoke these ones, but they're good for biceps. <laughs> <laughs> Bicep curls, they weigh about 50 kilos, so you get those buys happening. But I really recommend these. Here at Nimbin, the Mardi Gras going off. And this is a great pleasure talking to you for a natural Australian creation. Absolutely natural, 100% organic, okay? Whiffs to you all guys. Catch you later. Bye. All right, yeah.
Gold Coast, you're from? The beach. Okay. Have you chucked a bong before? Never. Okay, you grab it from the bong master and you chuck it as far as you can. You must yell something before the bong leaves your hand and please don't step over the throw line. Okay, now... Pretend that's like a border. Tall people are good at this. Yell! Pray the way! That was a throw of 23.7 metres! You're up. throw using the underarm technique not often seen these days but it's I have seen winning throws underarm and it certainly can work no question of that welcome here to the stadium of satisfaction young, young Sal, Sal. <laughs> Bogmaster do you think and the stadium goes completely silent as Sal Chuck and for Tanya! Bravo! 24.5 metres! Where are you from? Byron Bay. Byron Bay. You look like a Byron Bay girl. Barefoot, ready to uh, party. Did you party last night? Yeah, I got fucked on mushies. <laughs> Really? Which if you're going to go first, fuck, the mushies, you may as well be on mushies, I reckon. Hold it in one of your three hands and see if you can throw it down that way. And don't forget to say something when you're doing, Scarlett. Don't panic, it's organic! Don't panic, it's organic. Nice throw. Yeah. Beautiful elevation. Overarm throw. Beautifully done. That was a throw of 20.1 metres. Put you in second place. If no one competes for the rest of the day, you'll get a show back. That's third place currently, yes. Third, third place, place, that's okay. not bad at all. <laughs> Big yell, when you're ready. A virgin no more! <laughs> a virgin no more. Michelle, you threw that bong 16.7 metres. 16.7, a great start. Belinda. It puts you in fifth place and we've only had four competitors. Belinda from somewhere else. If I beat Mum, she has a code! <laughs> nice! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice show. Yeah. 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 And a lovely discus type throw. Well, this was the sidearm. Like it. Throw. Um, Let's hear what she yells. Don't forget we'll to yell something. Uh, and let's see what she throws. Michelle. That was a throw of 21. <laughs> to the men's now uh, is Ben Platts here. Have you go. Let's go. <laughs> that was a throw of 19.6 metres. 19.6 metres. Pete the Surferoo. Uh, Pete's here. He works for community television. So if he's taking a photo of you, it's not the police. He looks like a cop, doesn't he? <laughs> Cops wear stupid shoes too. I mean, I I don't like to be discriminatory, but I think Crocs, what the fuck is cut off Wellingtons with holes in them going to do in the wet weather? Pete, the surferoo, where are you from? Gold Coast. Gold Coast, heard of it. Good? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Hey, Gold Coastians. They don't really chuck a bong, they just hold it out of the level five apartment and drop it. <laughs> See the bomb master, mate. When you're ready, brother, don't forget to yell. It's not mine. It's not. <laughs> nice style, nice yell, good yell. That was a throw of 27.2 meters. 27.2 from Pete the Surferu. That was a lovely throw.
and I'll see you next time with part two of the Nimbin Mardi Gras Huge Festival. Huge.